In this video, we're going to take a look at the post-processor node for Octane for Maya. And for this video, I'm using the Space Cantina Interior 03 scene. So if I go into the render settings, under the Octane Render tab in Render Settings, you'll find a menu for post-processor. So I'm going to choose Create New to make a new post-processor node. And then open up its settings in the Attribute Editor. I'm going to turn it on by pressing the Enable button. Let's zoom out here a little bit so we can get an idea of what's going on. And I'm going to select the camera really quickly and go down to the Octane settings, thin lens. Let's lower the aperture. Maybe do something like that. And then let's go back to that post processor node and take a look at it. So the post-processor node allows you to add bloom and glare effects to your scene. So if I have this turned on, I start to raise the bloom power. Let's raise it to 10, let's type 20. So you can see around the space pilot's eyes, it's starting to get a little bit of a bloom there and all the highlights and the other bright spots in the scene. So, and these reflections as well. So as I bring this up, if I bring it up to 100, it's gonna to start to get very exaggerated. Then under Bloom Power, we also have Glare Power, which the glare adds some rays to these highlights here, and you can change the number of rays and also the angle. And you can add some blur to them as well. And adjust the spectral intensity if you want sort of a rainbow effect on it. And then shift the colors in that effect using Spectral Shift. So that's how the post-processor node works in Octane for Maya.